Kabul streets are filled with vehicles you rarely see in a major city. It also has another dubious honour that is scarce among the world's capital cities, a single set of working traffic lights. They were installed three months ago, but still require the use of traffic officers because many drivers and cyclists ignore the rules. Traffic lights are good, but only on the condition that people obey them. These are Kabul's first set of working traffic lights since the Soviet era ended almost two decades ago. They've greatly reduced the number of accidents at this intersection, even though learning the new rules is taking time. Our country has gone through almost three decades of war. Our people are not used to obeying rules, including traffic rules. Some of them don't know. Others violate the rules intentionally. They need education to obey the law. At intersections without signals, the traffic is much more chaotic. In the Soviet days, Kabul had 65 sets of traffic lights and around 50,000 cars. Now there's just one set, but there's 600,000 vehicles. Kabul's population has jumped from less than a million people back then to over 4 million. Despite the billions of dollars of foreign aid that has poured into the country, very little has been invested in Kabul streets. Our roads were built almost 50 years ago, and there's been no change since then. This is a problem because it only has capacity for 50 to 100,000 cars. For those who make their living on the roads by pulling carts that can weigh up to two tons, the increased traffic is a nightmare. On a day when the roads are not crowded, I make $5, but if there's a traffic jam, I can make only enough to buy dry bread for my family. Kerban Ali also tells me that he has no idea about the new traffic light rules. The government hopes to install lights at another 26 roundabouts, meaning the confusion over this new technology will continue for some time to come. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Kabul.